What's up? I'm B, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about Rachel Hollis's Rise Live Women's Weekend, a three-day virtual conference that promises to change your life. Now, I've done a two-part series on Rachel Hollis before. I did another video about her getting sued. I will go ahead and put a link to like the first video in my series of videos about her up here. That way, if you don't know who she is, you can catch up. Brief overview though, Rachel Hollis, all around lifestyle influencer, a, a jack of many trades. She has been on the New York Times bestseller list three separate times for Girl Wash Your Face, Girl Stop Apologizing, and Didn't See That Coming. Three books that are extremely difficult to get through. I don't know if you all remember, but a few months back I had done a poll where I asked if you wanted me to review Paula Morgan's Dating Guide or Didn't See That Coming by Rachel Hollis. And most people voted for Paul and Morgan, but a good portion of you said the Rachel Hollis book. So I bought it because I was like, oh, I'll just throw this in there for the people who voted for it. Like it was enough of you that I think it would be interesting and something you would want to see. So I bought the book. I got maybe, I don't even think I got through the first chapter. That's how hard it was for me to read. And I don't know, maybe if you guys are still interested, I can buckle down and force myself to finish it so we can go over it. Maybe it's old news and you don't care anymore. Um, but, but let me know your opinion on that down below. Essentially, brief overview of the first chapter. It felt like she was forcing herself to be like Christian edgy. She's like, oh, like, yeah, I said the F word. Ooh, like, you know, like, I'm so bad. It felt inauthentic. It felt like she probably uses certain language in her everyday life all the time. But then she said it in a book. She, like, published it in written form. And she was like, yeah, I'm bad. Because she knows that the majority of her audience is Christian. So we have to set up like an air of scandal around certain language and, and certain topics, which I don't know. I just, I was not interested. Moving on though, Rachel Hollis as an author, not my favorite. Rachel Hollis as an influencer and role model, also not my favorite. I've gone over a lot of the reasons that I don't like the way she conducts herself on social media in the first two videos I made about her. As always, I don't know her in person. I don't know what she's actually like, so I can't say if she's a good person or a bad person or what. But I think a lot of the things that she does seem very... I don't know what word I want to use because I don't want to say like money hungry or like they're a cash grab. Um, but it seems like she grew up lower middle class and still has a complex about it. And so everything she does now is in an effort to make up for that insecurity of hers that she had as a kid. Most of the things that she experienced in her childhood seem pretty typical. They seem like things a lot of people go through that don't implant this seed of like, I need to have as much money as I possibly can. I don't like how money seems to be her main motivator. I do not believe that money is bad or that money is evil. I think if you want nice things, you should be able to have nice things. I believe if you want to make money, you should be able to make money. Money is not an evil thing, but I think it can cloud your judgment a little bit when it is your main motivator. I also do not like that she and her now ex-husband, Dave Hollis, were by their own accord struggling for three years to save their marriage all while putting on a front that their marriage was one you could look up to. You know, maybe they gave good tips. Maybe they had some some nice approaches to conflict resolution that helped people. But I feel like it is extremely disingenuous to present yourself and your marriage in a way so that people will look up to you and want to be like you and say, ah, look at that. Look at her. She has the perfect life. She has amazing kids. She has an amazing marriage. She has an amazing business. I'm going to take all of the tips, all of the advice, everything she has to offer me, I am going to take it and run with it when you know that you're putting up a false front. You are profiting off of a lie. I just don't like it. 
Moving on though, because those are all gripes that I have previously talked about and we don't need to spend any more time on them. Later this year, Rachel Hollis will be hosting a three-day virtual conference. And the more I look into it, the more I have to say and the more I want to talk about it. So let's just go to the website. We're going to explore a little bit and I want to point a few things out. All right, y'all. So as you can see, we are on the website. The conference is going to be May 14th through the 16th and it will be hosted entirely online due to current circumstances. It was originally going to be held in person in San Diego, but obviously that has changed. So we've got a little trailer here from Vimeo. Let's see what's up. I think this is going to be like a little taste of what we can expect. Get your hearts ready. This is going to be the biggest conference we've ever done. We are going to take this to the next level. Women from all over the world come together, build community, and hear from amazing speakers and let their hearts be opened and get the tools to make lasting change in their lives. There's nothing like it in the world. So, girls, Rise is going virtual. For the first time ever, you can gather your girlfriends together, your mom, your sister, your daughters, and have this three-day conference in your living room. Okay. The world will try and tell you what is true. Are you willing to give up the pursuit of perfection in exchange for greatness? All of the parts of Rice Let's Conference see. that you love and a bunch of new speakers without having to pay for travel or a hotel room. Ladies, you do not want to miss it. Without having to pay for travel or a hotel room. Because those would be expensive, unlike this conference, right? <laughs> right? Okay, we'll get to the prices. So in this conference, you can expect, according to the website, a lasting community, world-class speakers, and tools to change your life. Now, I'm not quite sure how they're going to do the, the community building activities with breakout groups, fun VIP shows. I guess I can see how that would be easy. Um, group lunches seems a bit awkward to me, the thought of like having lunch with somebody over Zoom, but I don't know how they're going to do it. Maybe it will be great. World-class speakers. One of these speakers I wanted to touch on is John Maxwell. If you are in the American Christian sphere, chances are you have heard his name. John Maxwell is in his 70s and he has written nearly 90 books and accompanying workbooks to his written work. 90 published pieces. He is also a pastor and a speaker and he does interviews. John has been around the block. So while it might be engaging and entertaining to hear him speak in person over video, you know, virtually, I sincerely doubt you will hear anything from John Maxwell at this speaking engagement, if he's even there, that you have not heard before. So let me not even pretend to build anticipation of whether or not you need to go to this conference. You don't. You can buy a John Maxwell book for 10 bucks at half price books. You can buy one online. There are plenty of other ways to gain knowledge from John Maxwell without going to this conference. Number two, Jen Hatmaker. Again, <laughs> author, speaker, has a ton of free content out there as well as paid content like books that you can buy. I think when you work in a certain kind of field, there is only so much you can say and only so many ways that you can say it. So if you are going to this, this weekend, this virtual weekend with the thought that you are going to learn something absolutely life-changing, I'm going to pull a Gabby Hanna here and tell you to manage your expectations because while these people may be incredible, inspiring speakers, nothing that they tell you is going to change your life, especially if you're in the personal development sphere, because 99% chances you've probably heard this before. Moving on though, let's talk about ticket prices because this quite honestly makes me want to vomit. I understand that it takes a lot of money to put on a massive conference like this. I 100%
get it. There is an overhead cost. You may think that because it's virtual, it should be a lot less because they don't have to pay for event space, but I've never hosted a virtual conference. However, I would contend that there are probably some comparable expenses. Again, I don't know exactly how much each thing would cost, but if you are figuring out how to put an entire conference on a virtual platform, they might be putting it on their own platform. They may have to pay for subscriptions to things. The speakers are going to need high quality equipment, high tech equipment in order to communicate effectively and have good quality with that. So, um, you know, I, I don't know if it's as expensive as renting a space. I don't know if it's more expensive, but there are costs there. However, you do not need to pay this much to go to a conference, any conference, any conference at all in the personal development space. You just don't. Value ticket is $249, which when you see that, you're like, okay, you know, there's going to be some really great keynote speakers. I'm going to get, according to the tools to change your life, pre-event content, conference workbook, downloadable resources. We're going to have breakout sessions. Like that's a good price. However, all you get with this value ticket is admission to all three days, which should be a given and 48 hour playback. You only get 48 hours to play back three days worth of content. I don't know how that makes sense. You don't get a workbook. You don't get downloadable content unless it's hidden in there somewhere, unless they're going to be dropping links throughout the conference. I don't know, but that's all you get for almost $300. I could see maybe if this were in person paying that much money because you would actually have the full experience because at this point when it's virtual you're paying for the content if you are going in person you're paying for the content yes but you're also understanding that you're going to have an experience of maybe going with friends maybe meeting up with people people who you met at the last conference might be there you're going to get to go to San Diego and so it's like oh well this would be a fun thing to do and a really good trip and a, and a really good experience but you're just paying for the content. You don't need to pay $249 for content that you do not have unlimited forever access to. That is the only way I could see justifying it is if you had forever access. 48 hours, not enough. Moving on to general admission, which is $449. You get, congrats, access to all three days of the conference plus a full week of playback time step up here we go and with this one you do get a rise workbook mailed to your home you get a rise learn class which is fifty dollars digital resources and exclusive partner discounts now my question would be why are we mailing things to people's homes probably because they were printed already we've been in the space we've been in since march of last year but maybe they thought it would get cleared up by by the rise weekend i don't know I'm assuming you get it mailed out to you because they already had them. In order to print it, you have to have a digital copy, right? So why can't we give a digital copy to the value ticket holders? Just maybe, just a question, maybe a way that we can improve for next year, Rach. Moving on to premier tickets, access to all three days, two week playback, uh, the workbook, the Rise Learn Bundle, which is a $90 value, digital resources, partner discounts, and a Q&A lunch for $749. And the kicker, VIP ticket, access to all three days, one month of playback. That, ooh, okay, <sighs> okay, I knew the price on this ticket. I knew the price on this ticket, and I was like, that's absolutely outrageous, but it has to at least come with lifetime playback of the conference. One month of playback. And of course, you know, you get the other perks. You get the workbook, the Rachel Hollis Complete Life Coaching Program, 22 hours of content, which is a $450 value, digital resources, partner discounts, Q&A lunch, Rise gift card, $50 value, VIP swag box, and Saturday night show. Now that is all fine and dandy. That seems like a, a cool kind of luxury experience in a way. You get a free program that's typically $450. I don't know, maybe 
cut 500 bucks off the ticket price and just don't include it or already include it because it's not like it's a personalized program. It's pre-recorded, Rachel. Anyway, a Q&A lunch, partner discount, swag box, Saturday night show, those sound fun. However, when you pay for digital educational content, when you are buying a class, you should not have a limited amount of time to go back and get to it because that tells me you don't care about changing people's lives. You want them to feel like they have this perk, they can go back, yada, yada, yada. But when the next conference comes, they got to come to the conference. Like they can't just have access to this forever because we need them to come back to the conference, which I would say if you're so confident in the product you're putting out, you give people access to the recorded conference for life and then you, in your mind, know this experience, this product is so good, it gives so much value, they're going to come back just because they want to, because they like the environment, because they like the vibe. It's it To me, because I am somebody who has paid for personal development classes this feels like you're not confident in your product and you don't want me to be able to go back and rewatch and maybe think, you know, this isn't as life changing. Maybe if you only have a month, you know, you just did the conference, maybe you're going to put it off. You're not going to go back and watch it. You're going to still be working on whatever you set up while you were in there. And then before you know it, your month's going to run out and you're not going to have the chance to watch it back outside of the hype of it happening live and realize that maybe you didn't get as much value as you paid for. So the theme of the conference is owning your past, your present, and your future. You're going to spend a day working on each of those things. I think that that is incredibly broad. Um, I, I think it might be more helpful if things were a bit niched down, but Rachel goes big or she goes home and we know that she won't go home because she wants to make the money. So she's going to put on a big conference that can appeal to as many people as possible. So that's pretty much what I wanted to critique as far as the conference as a whole goes. There are a few things in the FAQ section that I found interesting though. So the question, what if I originally had a ticket to Rise San Diego? If you originally had a ticket to Rise San Diego, you should have received an email with your upgrade information. For questions regarding your upgrade, please contact their email address. I would love to know what the upgrades are. Fun fact, tickets to this conference are non-refundable and non-transferable. We are in a time of extreme unpredictability. And obviously, people bought these tickets for nearly $1,600 when they thought that it would be worth it to go, when they thought this was going to be a worthy investment, and when they thought they were going to be able to go in person and go to San Diego to attend. Now, I think an ethical choice would be to understand that we are in the midst of a global pandemic, and maybe people um, would find more value in getting some of their money back as opposed to whatever you included in the box. Whether it's a program that is pre-recorded and in no way personalized, whether it's a $50 gift card to your merch shop, whatever bonus you added in, I guarantee you it is not going to be as valuable to families as having actual cash in your pocket. I would rather have the cash, but uh, I guess I can see how if you are somebody who's willing to pay that much money for a Rachel Hollis conference that, you know, you might be happy with the additional content, whatever your bonus is, because it's from her and you look up to her and you trust her. So I don't know, maybe people are happy with that. Maybe people are excited. They, you know, they say, well, like, I already paid the money. So if I can have more for my money, that would be great. And I hope that people are happy with their purchase. But again, I would love the cash. Okay, two more things and then we will move on from this website. Remember how earlier I said, you have to have a digital copy of that workbook, right? People want to know. Frequently asked questions. Will I get a workbook with my ticket? Answer. All tickets except value will receive a physical workbook in the mail. 
digital workbooks will be available to those who purchase tickets close to the event date to use during the event, but you will still receive a physical workbook in the mail. If you're a value ticket holder, find a notebook slash paper pen and get ready for note taking. This is absurd. This is outrageous, Rachel. You have digital workbooks. Send them to people who bought tickets. I don't understand how that is not included, how, how that is not a base level. You get access, you get a workbook, you get replay. I, I don't understand how those three things are not a staple of every kind of ticket you would offer because a lot of people spending $300 is a massive expense and they're and they're doing it because they want to improve their life and you're taking advantage of people. I'm getting worked up, but a lot of the ways that Rachel Hollis conducts business bother me so so much and I don't like seeing people get taken advantage of. People getting their hopes up because they think that they're, you know, think about people thinking that this ticket, that buying this ticket is going to change their life. And they can't even get the common courtesy of a digital workbook, of a PDF file. Oh, heaven forbid, you have to send a few extra out. Like, come on. People think that they're going to get something that is going to change their life when I know that it won't. Maybe they can learn some valuable skills here. Maybe they can be inspired and go back and be pumped up. Most of the time, conferences are really, really great while you're there, but then you get home and you get into real life and you get back to real routine and having to get up every day to go to work or to teach your kids or to just stay home with your kids. And those things fall by the wayside. It's like camp high. When you go to camp, you're there for a week, you're fired up on Jesus. You want to get baptized the night before you come home. And then you come home and you're the exact same person as you were before because you made a decision while you were emotionally fired up and you were charged up and you didn't have anything practical to take home with you. And that's what I feel like is going to happen with this conference. I've seen the depth of Rachel Hollis's work and I could stand in it and it wouldn't hit my ankles. I do not like when people are taken advantage of. I, I really don't, especially when they're trying to do something to better themselves, when they're trying to find some motivation, get some encouragement, get pumped up and create a life that they're proud of, create habits that they're proud of and feel good about themselves. And they're really just getting taken for a ride by a scam artist with a Louis Vuitton handbag. And for the final question I wanted to go over, Will I be able to interact with the speakers? Only VIPs will have the opportunity to interact with Rachel during a lunch Q&A by submitting questions in advance. VIPs will receive an email with details on how to do this. There will be no other opportunities to interact with speakers. You might as well watch a YouTube video of them then. At least when you see somebody in person, you have kind of the illusion that y'all are having a back and forth together and it feels kind of personal because I can say, raise your hand if you've ever felt stuck in life. And then you can put your hand up and be like, ah, oh, me, me, me. And they'll look across the crowd and you think, oh, maybe they, maybe they made eye contact with me even though they're on the stage with all these bright lights and there's no way they're seeing my face right now, you know? Classic stuff. In person, you have the illusion of interaction. You're better off buying a book. You're better off consuming any other kind of content that you can get for free as opposed to paying to see them at this conference. If you like Rachel Hollis, you've read her books, and you feel like they have genuinely truly helped you aside from getting caught up in the hype because a lot of people got caught up in the hype and then went back later and realized that there wasn't much there, that it was just like, everyone in my community loves this, so I love it too. You know, if you've gotten past that stage and you genuinely like Rachel, you think she can help you and you want to enjoy this experience, fine. But if you are somebody who is just looking for ways to improve your life, there are so many free resources that you can take advantage of. I'm going to link some of my favorite podcasts down below. Uh, obviously, like disclaimer, just because I enjoy a podcast, find value in it or find it entertaining 
doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with every single thing that that person says. It's just in general, I enjoy this content and I have found it helpful and or entertaining. So I'm sharing it with you in case you would like to check it out. Uh, All of these podcasts are free. Now, all of these people also offer paid content if you want to take it another step further, but you absolutely don't have to buy it. However, I will say I have bought paid content from two of these people, one Taylor Stone and two Chloe Elise from Deeper Than Money, and I found it incredibly helpful. With Taylor, I bought one of her classes, I think it was summer. It was like over the summer, I bought one of her classes, I did it, I finished it, moved on. And then just this past week, I was feeling kind of down in the dumps and I wanted some motivation. So I went back and watched the course that I had previously bought. So like I said, these people have paid content, but you don't have to buy from them in order to gain value. Moving on, you can also get free audiobooks and digital books if you have a library card. There is an app called Libby. I have talked about this so many different times because I am the only person I know who uses it and I do not know why you would not take advantage of it. If you have a library card, you download the Libby app, you put in the library that your card is from, put in your login info, and you have free access to thousands of different titles. They might not have everything you want. If you want a certain book, you might have to wait if it's you know, being rented right now and other people are waiting for it, like they have a hold on it. You got you got to get in line and you got to wait a few weeks, but it's still absolutely free with just having a library card. Libby is like the coolest app, I swear. Another source of free content, Harvard is offering free online classes. Now they have classes in like math, science, English, philosophy, a ton of different stuff. If you're looking for personal development, one course title that I found particularly interesting was The Path to Happiness Through Chinese Philosophy. It piqued my interest. It sounds cool. Harvard has this entire catalog of online courses that you can take absolutely free. And you can't tell me that you don't want to be the next Dell Woods. So check it out. Finally, if you don't mind paying a little bit of money, there is a website called The Bundle Co., They offer packages, bundles of online courses from content creators. Essentially what they do is they find, you know, say the genre is vegan eating. They recently did one for that. So like vegan eating and health. They will find different influencers and content creators who have created courses around this topic, negotiate with them in order to be able to include their course in the bundle, and then sell an entire chunk of courses for a massive discount. And from my understanding, you have lifetime access to those courses. There are tons of resources, so many things that you can take advantage of. And if you're sitting here saying, Well, B, the appeal of the RISE conference is that it's a group. Like, you have people to talk to and discuss these things with. There's some accountability there. Maybe you can make a new friend. I hear you. One, I would say, get your friends together. If you have any friends interested in whatever topic you're trying to learn more about, text them, put them in a group chat. Say, hey, I would like to read this book or you know, work on this goal. How about we meet every other week over Zoom and talk about it? You know, that could be a really fun thing for you to do with a group of your friends. There are also obviously Facebook groups that you can join related to nearly any topic in the entire world. However, I will say that a lot more people are walking away from Facebook completely understandably. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe make like a throwaway Facebook account. That's an option. Or you can also go to a website like meetup.com where you can find different in-person and virtual events to join. You can find accountability groups. You can create your own group. The internet has opened up such a wide world for us to take part in. There are lots of toxic things about the internet, but there are also some really great aspects of it too. Take advantage of them. Don't let Rachel Hollis take advantage of you. And don't think that you need to spend hundreds of dollars in order to improve your life because you don't.
That's all I've got for this one though. Again, those specific resources will be linked in the description box down below. Feel free to check them out. Also, feel free to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think about this conference, if it sounds worth it to you, if you think the pricing is just absolutely outrageous. Obviously, we know where I stand, but I would love to hear what you think. And while you're doing that, if you would consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel, that would be incredible. And if you are subscribed already, thank you so much. I am so appreciative of you and I love being able to just sit here, hang out with you and talk about whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Please be kind to people and I will see you in the next one. Bye.